I really don't have a favorite masterpiece of art. However, every time I see Picasso's Guernica, I feel something special and strange at the same time. As a future creative artist, I feel the obligation of analyzing masterpieces like these ones, because through these masterpieces we can understand more about the human reality and the world beyond the word beyond the superficial understanding. We humans, as a group, as, as individuals, can go from chaos to be reborn and resurrected. And as I love history, and I find very interesting how humans, through history, have gone from chaos to individual organization. Picasso, or Picasso, was a special artist. He was able to recreate in the abstract what the people at the time was feeling. He was universal. He was historical. He was political, even though he said he wasn't. However, Picasso has the ability to reflect what was happening around him and about the, around the others. And that's what makes it very interesting his work. The interesting characteristics of Picasso's uh, work is how he's, he's able to bring the abstract to the reality. What, what means that he's able to bring nightmares, dreams to the reality in the abstract. In the old Picasso's words, he said, every act of creation is the f is first an act of destruction. I love history, but I also find inter interesting and frustrating how the general view around the planet rested to the side the tragedy of the war that theoretically ended in 1945, but extended in places like Spain until 1975 after the death of Francisco Franco. I don't understand how. I will start how uh, Francisco Franco, a friend of Hitler, uh, stayed in power for that long until 1975. Guernica was a representation done by Picasso in 1937 of, of, a, of a killing of innocents in Spain, of a bombarding of Nazi Germany of a Spanish town as Franco's request. A terrible situation that was reinterpreted by Picasso's interpretation of a tragedy. Uh, interpretation of Guernica are variable according to experts, from being a symbolic representation of Spain uh, reflected in the horse and the bull that represented Spain for decades, but also a representation of killing of innocents, killing of innocents that reflects universally, universally among dictatorships. People in general, everywhere feel touched by Picasso's work. Some experts call it the Cubist Apocalypse. The Cubist Apocalypse of Ger Guernica has become an unusual, universal, powerful symbol that warms about humanity and humans against humans. Humans against humans is what reflects in Guernica. The, the devastation of war and the devastation of the human himself. That the fact that there's no obvious reference to any war in Spain makes it universal. Everybody knows that it was Spain, but it becomes universal. Picasso and other artists of the time were examining the dark spaces of the human mind, the dark spaces of the human psyche, and the conscious mind of the humans. But artists and creative artists, or future creative artists, it's very important to understand that because that will give us the feelings that we 
the feelings, the feelings are going to give us the sensitivity to understand humanity. One time, Picasso said, and we can apply this to any creative art, painting is a blind man's profession. He paints not what he sees, but what he feels, what he tells himself about what he has seen. And, he, and we can apply that to our profession, whatever we go to develop our our art will go through those process and will develop as Picasso's develop his feelings.